I'm going to lie down. I'm going to go through some of here. All right. So with this one, the whole point here is, is more like upper thoracic, maybe a CT junction thrust, like C7, C1. So like the name says, you try to provide a facet locking to every segment above the segment you're trying to manipulate, so they'll be a little more specific. So you're gonna, pay, you're gonna put the patient in prone and turning their head away from you, okay? So whatever side you try to, to get or mobilize is gonna be this side that their head is turned towards, okay? So we cervical, this is, by the way, this is one of the techniques that, remember when you talked about the free holding testing for vertebral artery? You know, that's one of those that we at least try to get the patient all the way rotated and wait there a little bit to see if anything abnormal is gonna happen or not. If not, you know, and then uh, you'll be a little more confident that they'll be okay with this. Um, but again, the patient is in prone and they're gonna turn their head towards the side you're trying to, to manipulate. So there's a lot of down gliding to that side already, so you're kind of locking um, some of the segments above there you're trying to manipulate to which you know, like make, uh, to accentuate or to make it more down glide, to more down glide, you can extend their head a little bit more there, okay? With like with the hand that's away from the patient, you're gonna stabilize the bottom side, the bottom vertebra of the segment they try to manipulate. So if it keeps rotating right, that spinal process wants to go left towards me, correct? So you're gonna try to prevent that segment to rotate even further, okay? With the other hand, you're gonna kinda hold the patient's head this way, okay? You're more so like on the occiput, maybe on their temple, because they already rotated and extended, the actually thrust force will be more like a side bending. You try to, you now to gap, to gap that, that facet that's already down glided maximally. Does it make sense? So you're gonna support the bottom segment with one hand, with one thumb, and with the other hand, you get on his occiput or his uh, temple, and you just provide a side bend. You're not gonna rotate him even further. You're just a side bend moment there, okay? You can try to get a feeling, like for the, whenever you feel like that's getting to the restriction, you can even ask them to take a deep breath with this one, so take a deep breath. As they exhale out, let it go, and then do the thrust that way, okay? Is that okay? Yep. Let's try it one more time. So when you're applying the force, you're actually not going all the force to the head. There's a lot of force on the thumb and some of the force at the head. So if you want to break it down, it's more like 60, 40, 60 on the thumb, 40 on the head. Again, you're not trying to do more rotation, the side bending motion there, okay? Breathe in and out. And then do. Okay, 